What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna to go through how Kendrick Lamar's Humble was made. Let's get into the video. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, where are the Kanye West remakes? Well, the truth is they're probably not gonna be ready for a couple weeks, so I wasn't gonna post anything until then, but thanks to the sponsor of this video, I had to post a second video this week. So I haven't forgotten about those remakes. They're gonna be some of the next remakes coming out on the channel, but today we have an exact remake of Kendrick Lamar's Humble, which means we have all of the identical drum samples as well as the exact piano preset that was used in the original song. So let's get into the video. This beat was produced by Mike Will Made It. And because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available for everyone for free in the description below, as well as Unison's new plugin, Drum Monkey, which I am very happy to be promoting once again, because I use this plugin personally in my own beats. For example, in my latest type beat, I use Drum Monkey in the drum programming process. So I started off with this sample. Out of the 808. Then for the drums, I pulled up Drum Monkey, and as you can see, I've got a bunch of different presets. I used my Kanye West drums preset, and I hit shuffle a couple times until we landed on this pattern. Simple yet effective. I dragged the stems into the project, and it's gonna sound like this. Anyway, massive thanks to Unison for sponsoring this video. Go show them some love in the description below by checking out Drum Monkey. Now let's jump into the remake. First off, let's set the tempo to 150 BPM. Let's start off with the exact piano that was used in the original song. You can find this preset in Korg's M1 Digital Synth. This is the Piano 16 preset. So let's record that in. Big shout out to Sulphur and Bristol on my Discord server who helped me find this preset. Then for effects, because this is a bassy preset, it would be clashing with the 808 in the lower frequencies. So as you can see, we're adding parametric EQ2 to cut out the low end. So this is before. Then this is after. So we're gonna give some room to the 808 here. Next up, let's add in the kick sample. We're gonna be using the rack kick. And this is the most common kick sample in trap music. So let's add this sample in now. We're gonna go control Q to quantize it, which means they're now playing perfectly on time. And I can prove to you that this sample is identical by comparing the waveforms of the kick sample to the original song. As you can see, if we line up the waveforms, the kick sample will match perfectly with the original song, which means that this is probably the identical sample that was used. Next up, we have the identical clap sample, which is the BWB wave 14 clap. And we're not playing it on C, we're playing it one semitone higher at C sharp. Now let's add in this hi-hat. And then quantized into the piano roll. We can prove that this is the same by comparing the EQ to the original song. So this is the hi-hat, and this is the original. Have a look right here. Hi-hat, original. You can clearly see that they used this exact sample in the original song. Then add in the open hat. Then for the 808, we're gonna be using this pretty common 808. We're playing this pattern where it's playing really frequently, like more frequently than I've seen any other 808 play in a song ever. It's gonna sound like this. Isn't that crazy? Then this is really cool. For the 808, it's really easy to see we have the identical sample because in the outro of the song, the 808 plays by itself. And we can really clearly see if we bring the 808 to the outro that it's the exact same 808 sample that was used in the original song. Then finally, we have one more perk. This is the BWB Open Hat 1. And for effects, we're adding this pretty harsh EQ. So at first, it's gonna sound like this. Then afterwards. And this sample is playing along with the clap. Then we have this whoosh sound. 
which plays at the beginning. Then finally, later on in the song, we're gonna be adding in a siren. And we're gonna be adding some effects to it. So first off, we have some distortion. Then some reverb, some grow speech, which is adding this volume curve. So it's gonna sound like this. So this is the end result. That's basically it for the remake. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.